What's going on comrades? It's your Supreme Leader Aaron here and today for Outside the Box. Yes, that's right. Outside the Box is back. We are bringing back Outside the Box for your viewing entertainment. Um, today, I'm doing something that I've wanted to do for a little while here. Uh, I just recently picked these up. Uh, these are by Pandemony Toys. These are the alternation figures. I've got all six figures in a bag over here that I'm going to be taking out of the box today and showing off these figures. I know a lot of people are like, why are you taking figures out of the box? My dude, you're ruining the collector value. I don't. To me, the collection's all about what you, how you enjoy it. And I enjoy my figures out of the box because I like posing them. But I've got all six figures here. Uh, price range on these is about anywhere from $20 to $25. So yeah, they were a little expensive to get all six of them. But I managed to get a, get a whole like six for not, not a bad price. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the box. And we're going to start with the one that I'm real interested in, which is, you know, the, I've got all of phase one here. So I'm going to start off with Dart. Now this is the one that caught my eye at the beginning in the Facebook ads. I saw this and I was like, this looks really cool. I need to get him out of the box now because I want to see what he look I want to see how he looks like. It uh it actually has like some super cool things to tell you about them on them. Like each of the boxes, I'm gonna see if I can bring that closer so you can see it. Let me get my face out of the shot there. Maybe it might zoom in. But it gives you a little story about Dart. And they, they're all part of the GK GK Delta Squad. They were created as sort of a top secret agent to fight these like monsters or these new enemies that had come out and it tells you what his dna mix is he's like human dark frog bullfrog and tree frog so he's majority frog so if you don't like frogs look away now yeah, seriously i know like some of my friends don't like frogs which is weird because i've always been a i've been okay with frogs like i don't like holding them but I don't mind frogs, so I'm gonna try to get the box open here. I love the packaging design. It's very like t like scientifically test tubey. I, I like a, I don't like a. I mean, I like something that's out of out of the norm for like toys. So I'm gonna get this out of the box. Generation Chimera Delta is what GK Delta stands for, by the way. I just saw that on the box. So right off the rip, get them out of this plastic here. And the cool thing about these toys is they come with comic books. I gotta get the comic book out of there and I'm hoping that it's, okay, good. So it comes with a comic book inside the packaging there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that open real quick and get that out so I can look at it. Oh, that is, it's a tiny comic book. It is really tiny. I mean, look at, compared to the size of my head, that's tiny. So if you have a hard time with tinier font, he is number three of eight. So there are eight comic books in this series. There's also, um, there's also like instructions on how to play with him. So each one of these toys probably does come with instructions. He can jump, and I, I want to try to demonstrate that jump, but I really don't know how well I can demonstrate it. It's really cool. You can put him in the crouch position and I'll just show you the instructions. Probably won't demonstrate that jump too much because I really don't have a lot of room to work with right now. Um, but I want to get him out of the shell here. And again, there's so much tape. Do I have a knife on me? I got my keys. Oh yeah, I got a knife on my key ring. So I always try to keep a knife on me just for this sort of reason right here. I'm trying to be careful not to damage him. He comes with a couple of weapons here. He's got a little boomerang-like item here. And I'll bring that close so y'all can kind of get a good view of that. If it'll focus. Let's see, where's it trying to focus on? Ah, let me see if I can set my keys down here. But... It's not going to focus on it, but it comes with a boomerang. He's got this little bola tool, which looks really cool. I'm going to try to get that. It won't focus on anything right now. It's focusing on my face, which is kind of awesome. I love my camera. But here's Dart. Like, look at him. He is a huge figure, guys. Like, and it comes with a little, like, 
human figure here. I don't get what this dude is. Like it doesn't it doesn't tell me too much about like what comes in this toy pack. The human. Oh god, my hands aren't working today, guys. Sorry. But uh the human figure itself is not all that big. Like it's not big at all. Um compared to Dart, like here's Dart, and here's that little like weird human alien dude. I don't know who that is. Maybe it might tell me in the this in the stuff. But let's see if we can kind of get darts. Oh wow. Wow guys, that's really cool. So I gotta figure out how to do his uh jump. Because I want to see if I can make him jump in my hand while he's in my hand. So what you need to do is hold down the head of Dart into the crouch position. So put him in your hand. Do like that and yeah, he kind of he kind of jumps. I don't want to I don't want to do this, but yeah, he he's got a pretty cool jump. Posability, he's not super posable because of that. I mean, the feet move, the hand the hands twist and move, and you can kind of move his you can kind of bend his arms. His head does swivel a little bit, but there's not much in the way of like you know posability with him. Because he's a, because he's a launcher, and again, that I like that. That's really cool. But you can see kind of like the head twists, the wrists and feet move, and that's about all the movement you get out of him. But still, really cool figure. I like the way this looks. I like the way this feels. Set dart right here along with his stuff. I have to put his stuff in a bag here along with that comic. I want to I want to read that comic. That comic looks really cool, by the way. Like I was looking through it. And here, I'll show you a little bit of the inside of one of the comics here. And this is the story of Dart. But it's a little miniature comic. And that font is really tiny. I'm going to have to, I want to read that. Like, I really want to read that. That's super, that's super awesome. Uh, I don't need the instructions, so that'll probably, I'll probably junk those. Um, next up in my figures, I'm going to go with the next big bruiser here, which is Sabotage. Sabotage is part of the, uh, He's an enemy, by the way. He's not from the GK Delta. So, uh, apparently the next two rounds are probably going to be villains. He is an Amplified Dynamics Corporation. And remember, our victories is the name of the groups. He comes with a military-issue combat knife, one laser rifle modified, and a modified Gatling gun. Um, let me look for Darts Box. What did I do with Darts Box? Let me get it tell me what he comes with. He comes with a hyper boom, the boomerang, the frog grip bullet, and iron stomach action figure. So he gets an, he comes with his own action figure to play with. That's kind of funny. So go ahead and cut the tape on this box here, because like I said, the boxes here are really nice. These are this is not a bad little uh, setup here for figures. And it looks like they kind of just taped everything in a little bit. I thought I'd cut that tape. Apparently I didn't get that one too well. There we go. All right. So let's get Sabotage out of the box. Like I said, Sabotage is one of the enemies here, it looks like. I ain't worried about ripping the box. Oh, okay. So I didn't see this in the box, but this is really cool. You can actually join the Agent Artillery for GK Delta. Uh, you just have to go, you have to mail this in with your child's name. I'm, of course, I, I'm not gonna do it because I'm not a child. I still think it's really cool though. I like stuff like that, where the toy comes with like a little membership and stuff like that, where you can kind of, I imagine it stays up to date. They probably send out little videos and birthday stuff and probably, you know, like a little, card or something with the, where the agents like wish him a happy birthday or something like that or either put him in the comic books or something that would be cool that would be cool if they put him in the comics all right so right now here's his little combat knife for sabotage since we're working on sabotage now uh sabotage did come with a comic did i take it out of the box i want to make sure i took that out of the box before i just threw it off to the side there did not 
and all of these come with a graphic novel, by the way, guys. So that, ma that makes this even better. So I'll tear that open. And I want to kind of see what his actions are. Cybernetic Overdrive. Push button activate features makes the eyes and face. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to try that here in a second. Um, here's his comic. Again, they come with comics, which is really cool. And this is number four of eight. So I imagine the other two comics are coming out with phase two. Guys, I'm hoping for phase two. But this is Sabotage. He has a sonic arm punch. So let me get him out of his thing here. So let's see. How does this work? Push button activated. I'm kind of hoping my camera would focus on him, but it's not wanting to right now. Like the focus has been really more focused on me. But that's cool. I like that. Um, so if you want to get him to do his punch, you just... Ow, that hurt. Not really hurt, but it was kind of just caught me off guard. There's his punch. You just pull back on that, which is really cool. I like the way that does that. Uh, really loose joints, guys. Like, that is... I mean, y'all can see I'm barely moving. Like, there's just, it's real loose. It scares me a little. I, I'm really scared of loose joints. Uh, and he, okay. So if you need to replace his batteries, super easy to get into. There's a little hatch back here. I'm gonna see if I can kind of get close enough to where the camera won't focus on me. Instead, we'll focus on it. But there's the little hatch right there where you can kind of like replace the batteries. Again, not a bad looking little figure. I mean, look at the detail in that. He does have, his wrist is probably about the, the stiffest joint there. And he's got this really huge Gatling gun. I mean, that's really cool. I like the way that looks. I love the way that looks. He also has the, uh, what, what, what do they call this rifle here? Let me see if I can find sabotage here. And I love the fact the batteries were included with him too. Uh, this is the laser rifle. So it didn't have a fancy name, but that laser rifle looks really cool. Again, I'm gonna try to keep all of the toy, all the toy parts together here. Where's that knife? There it is. Definitely don't want to lose that knife. All right, next up on the list here. Kind of put all my trash away from the toys here. I'm gonna grab Albert here. This is Albert Seven. Albert, if you're watching this dude, he is human capuchin monkey and Toro Bravo bull. He comes with a military issue rifle with custom banana clip. That's funny. 1953 ray gun revolver energy weapon, a mallet with extending boxing glove, cream pie banana, and a whoopee cushion. That's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open here, get all the tape cut. This one doesn't have a lot of tape on it, which makes things a little easier. Now there's some tape right here. And let's get this out of the box here. I'm ready, I'm, a, I'm really excited about this one, guys. Like I am really excited so let's go ahead and open up the box here again the packaging is super cool there is a comic book again set you over there right now albert okay that's taped on there really good that's the one that's the one gripe i've got about it is everything's kind of taped in place and that's a lot of tape for a toy damages the box if you're a box collector and you're just wanting to like collect the boxes to go with them but I'm not really interested in the boxes um again another comic and I really wish it would focus but my camera is just not in the mood today like it's really not wanting to focus maybe if I did it like this where it took up the entire screen there it goes it takes it a second but as you can see there's the comic right there that looks they're really detailed little comics, and I'm liking that. So his tail, 
Albert has a bendable tail. The mallet, the mallet has a boxing glove in it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull him out of that, out of the packaging here, and show off a little bit of his goodies here. Here's his special assault rifle. Oh, it's bent. The barrel's bent. That's not good. Okay, that's not terrible though. I mean, you can easily bend that back. The gun itself came a little bent, but there we go. Now my camera's wanting to play. So there's the assault rifle there with the banana clip. I, I love the little joke banana on the end of it. Um, the ray gun. A 1950s style ray gun. It's not going to focus. I was trying to get it to focus, but if I pull it back here, you can kind of see it in comparison. But that's the ray gun right there. It looks really cool. The cream pie. That's super cool. I, this one came with a lot of stuff. Where's the whoopee cushion? Oh, it's in here. And they give you an actual working whoopee cushion. I gotta play with this. I gotta. I, as a kid, I had whoopee cushions all the time. Like my parents used to think that it was such a funny thing to give give me a whoopee cushion. I don't know. Is that working or is it just a toy? It should work. <sighs> okay. I guess not. Oh, there we go. Nah, it's it's not gonna work. I don't. Uh, let me see. Maybe if I. I was trying to. I'm a bust a blood vessel trying to get this thing to do anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. I, I, I'm just a little. I'm just a young kid at heart. Here's his hammer. I'm gonna play with the boxing glove hammer real quick. You just launch it and that's really cool. I'm liking I'm liking these toys, guys. Like I haven't seen these. So here's the tail, and the tail is super bendable. I love that. I love the fact that you can actually hang him from stuff. Like for instance, I could just put you know wrap him around my finger and look. He just hangs around and does his thing. Like his tail is poseable, and that's super cool. His joints. I mean, he's and he's kind of a smaller figure compared to the first two that I showed, but he's got a lot of posability there. I mean, you can bend his arms out like that. That's super cool. There's the pouches. No, the pouches are pretty stiff on there, so that's the only downfall there is the, the pouches don't have any movement to them. His uh, feet super posable as well. I like these. I really, I really like these. Like, I know I, I might be like one of the rare people that likes this kind of stuff, but I kind of like this kind of gimmicky toy stuff. Like, I find these little gimmick toys like this really cool. Like, I, I love something so reminiscent of my childhood where they had like figures that were, you could go in like certain toy shops and there they were comic book characters that had their own toy and it was super cool. And you know, you you get like the X the X Men figures and all that all the time. Oh, hold up! I didn't notice this. Came with some stickers. One of these came with stickers. I believe that was Albert. It came with some stickers. And you. Oh yeah, you can put you put the stickers on them. I gotta do that real quick. So on his armor. You put the little kitty cat sticker here. This little tiny cat sticker, which is not going to focus. But you put that on his uh, flask that he has here. I think that's so cool that they actually include stickers with this. Guys, that just... Pandemonium's doing some good stuff here, guys. And to be honest, they haven't really been well known. Like this is the this is their first series, and what about this? Is this sticker, I guess that's just like a runner mark on it, because it looks like there was something else there, but I don't really see any other sticker placements. And it says this one should go. 
kind of around there. Okay, the inner Gundam nerd in me is enjoying the fact that it came with stickers, even though they're not like super detailed. And I know y'all probably just watched like five minutes of me doing, or like a minute of me playing around with stickers with my bald spot showing, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm probably gonna keep those instructions because that's actually really cool. Next up, this one is one of my favorites right here. This one looks really cool. And I've got like three more to go. Uh, you know what? I'll break out a bigger fake. I'll break out one of the bigger ones. This is Quillroy. So here's Quillroy right here. Look at how big the box is and look at how big the fig is. He is is he GK Delta? Yeah, he's GK Delta as well. I think all of these, I think all of these except for the first one was a, except for Dom um, Sabotage was a GK Delta. Oh, wait, there's more stickers in this one. Have I been missing stickers? Like, I don't think any of the others had stickers. Alright, I'm a little curious. There were no stickers on that one, so I'm going to have to check out Sabotage, this because I think he had stickers. Sabotage may have to have some stickers, so I got to find, see what his, because I've got a bag here with some stickers in it. To figure out who who I missed stickers on, so R O V. Yep, that's that's Sabotage's sticker set, so I'm gonna have to put that on his stuff and find his instructions as well. Oh, here's his instructions right here. I'll put I'll put the stickers on probably after behind the scenes. Yeah, he's got a so Sabotage had sticker placement as well. So definitely want to save that because I definitely need that. Um, okay, let's get let's get Kill uh, Quillroy. I keep wanting to say Quillroy. God shows you uh, shows you I was what what decor what decade I was a product of. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the box here. And guys, I'm sorry if this is a little bit of a long toy vid, but this is a full series haul. So you know, I wasn't gonna do just a short video on these because I really wanted to give this give this company a try because I'd seen the ads and I'd seen some of the comments on Facebook and I was like. You know what? I, I don't like comments, and I don't like like bad criticism of things unless it really deserves bad criticism. And so far, I'm not feeling like these deserve it. I feel like okay, this is another one with the GK Delta. Join the GK Delta auxiliary here. All right, does he come with stickers too? I'm hoping not, because I really don't want to spend like most of my free time putting stickers on a toy. Not not complaining about that though, because I mean I think that's really cool that they include them. He does not include stickers. Good. Oh, okay. Quillroy has some awesome stuff going on here. Um, right off the rip, a lot of accessories on him. So. Get all that out of there. I gotta be careful about that because my knife was sitting straight up. That would have hurt. That would have generally hurt, guys. Um, yeah. This is super cool. It's kind of, kind of more than super cool. Oh, okay. I'm launching parts everywhere. Let me see if I can find them. Okay, there's one. There's two. Three, four. Put all those right there. Yeah, all of his darts just came flying right out, and I was like, no, that doesn't need to happen. Because one, I've got a mess right now. I'm gonna try to get everything out of the box here. Okay, got all the parts picked up now. Um, look at him right there, that's really cool. And he does have some pretty cool actions here, including That's really cool. I don't know if y'all saw that, and I'll try that again here. Let me see if I can line these up perfectly. I think they're all the same shape, so it shouldn't matter which way they go in. But you can see here that his quills. Not a top.
last one didn't. So they're supposed to all launch at like one time. And he has two buttons that you can push from. Okay, these quills do actually have a placement. But I think that's really cool that like it comes with like so much different you know, there's so many different things you can do here. He has a pair of like headphones right here. And I don't think you can take those off, but I think that's really cool. His combination, by the way, let me find that box for him. Where did I put the, the Quillroy box? Here it is, right here. Quillroy is human, African porcupine, neotropical fruit bat, and Indian rhinoceros. That's a neat little combination there. Pose ability, his head, real stiff at first, but once you kind of break that, like, maybe that little, kind of in the box plastic feel. Pose ability, his joints are very crunchy joints. Like, I, they're not like traditional joints where they're kind of loose and, you know, ball jointy. Instead, it's a click joint. And I'm I'm okay with crunchy joints. They always scare me a little bit, but they're still, like, his, his hips are on a, a ball swivel. So it's really cool that that's the case there. Um, he has a bow, and the bow is poseable, by the way, with the darts. He also has a weight set here, which looks really cool. Were there any more weights in that, or was that it? Make sure I didn't like, drop anything down here. Thought I picked up everything, but I'm noticing that his barbell looks. You see what it says about him, what he comes with. So it says he comes with one military issue compound bow, one explosive arrow, intimidator arrow, knockout gas arrow, grapple arrow, barbell flail energy drink so the, it's okay so I'll show off that so here's the bow that it comes with um set you down there Quill Roy pretty cool looking dude there I, I really like him the uh, barbell set here like he is he's doing some weightlifting of weird proportions here because it's not quite even it's kind of weird maybe he's using it like a flail Yeah, it is a flail. Okay, I read that and I didn't think about that. Um, his energy drink, which says... Horse Bull Energy Drink. Instead of Red Bull. But you can't really see the detail on it and I'm sorry about that. I'm really, I really, really want this to focus. But I don't think it will. It's not going to focus. I'm trying, guys. But for some odd reason, my camera's just not loving me today. But, yeah, I tried. Okay, well, it was trying to focus there, but you can kind of see the detail a little bit here. Uh, the arrows. Oh, I almost lost that drink. Let me put that in a bag here. I need to get me some little Ziploc bags. Here are the arrows here. So there's the little... There's one of the arrows. It doesn't tell me which one's which. That's the one's called the Intimidator. One's a knockout gas canister. One's an explosive. And one is a grapple. So uh, that's probably the grapple arrow. And I'll pull it back so you can kind of see the little grappling hand there. Here's the knockout gas one. This must be the... That must be the in, the explosive arrow or the intimidator, and the, that's either the intimidator or the explosive arrow. So really cool looking, really cool looking little pieces here with it. And I'm gonna try, like I said, to keep everything together and not lose anything because I'm really bad about losing small pieces. All right, I've got two more left, guys. Two more. So, like I said, I'm sorry if this is such a long video. I'm really trying not to make it a long video. This barbell I'll just put right there with the other big pieces. Next up we have... El Rey. He's part of the GK Delta series. He is... Human, Manta Ray, Electric Catfish, Electric Ray, Sailfish, and Stingray. 
This is what he looks like. Like in the box, that's what he looks like. So let me find my knife here. It's constantly moving. I do not have a sentient knife, but I have a knife that I constantly keep putting down in the wrong spots. All right. Again, guys, this is kind of very, in it. this is kind of like super cool to me. I really love this kind of stuff. So I love action figures that have like a little bit of a backstory. Oh yeah, I meant to show y'all the the Kill the Quillroy comic. Look at look at the the artwork on this. Like that feels like some uh, not Todd McFarlane, but <laughs> some Toad McFarlane stuff. You know, Toad McFarlane would really dig the comics here. That's that was from a buddy. Uh, <laughs> Sandman there. My buddy Sandman's all about some Toad McFarlane, guys. Dondi and Dondi and Sandman. Uh, so, Sandman, if you're watching, man, that was for you. All right, so right off the rip, I'm seeing that he comes with a pretty awesome looking comic. Like, I want to try to get that to focus just a little bit there. Look at the detail in that comic cover. I love the way he looks, too. I, I, I love the way he looks. I can't wait to get him out of the packaging. He has light up bioluminescence. Let's see, does he need any stickers? Do, does not need stickers. Striking stingray tail. Child powered soft rubber swing tail away from the. Child powered. And his battery replacement is super easy. There's a hatch on his back. All together, this is really cool that they're coming with they're coming with the batteries already in, in you know installed. I'm all about some like you know batteries included action there. So right off the rip, okay, there's his tail right there. It, it kind of reminds me of like, and it has that smell of like old fishing bait. Like the, the plastic bait that you can get, or the rubber bait. So he comes with the bazooka here, which I'm gonna look and see what his stuff is. He comes with an energy conductive harpoon, spear pistol, and blowhole portable cannon. There's his spear, guys. That's a huge and beautifully detailed spear. I love the design of that. Again, I'm not finding anything I can complain about with these toys. People who were complaining about these were, I feel like they didn't even bother to get them. Like I feel like they more or less just complained because it was a new toy to collect and I don't know, I just, I like these. But here's the harpoon gun and I mean, super cool looking figure. Okay, I wanna try out his glowing action here. There it is right there. A Little bit of a seizure warning there guys. So if you don't like flashing lights, that's super cool. I like that. So he does. He does have the glowing action. He's on a. He's on a, like a ball. A ball joint uh, build here for the most part. That tail again is super. Like you can sling it around and it just will strike out whatever it gets to. Really cool. I love the design of this. I love his colors. I'm a big fan of the color blue. In all in all honesty. And he's super easy to pose. Like, I'm loving this. Guys, this is... Uh, Pandemony, you are doing some amazing things with toys, my friends. Definitely want to... Um, definitely hope you watch that. I uh, definitely hope you guys are watching. But that there's the blowhole cannon. I, I love the name of that, by the way. Anytime you can make a blowhole jo joke, you automatically win me over. I'm, I'm going to be reading these comics, by the way, guys. I definitely, I definitely encourage y'all to go out and get these. Don't wait till they go down in price either. That is, that they're well worth the money in my opinion. All right, I'm gonna put that spear over here as well, and let's take you, my friend El Ray, and put you there. And finally, we've got one more enemy here. It looks like he's he's an enemy. Is he an enemy or is he G, is he GK? No, oh, he's actually GK Delta as well. He's a good guy. So, I've got comics one, six, seven. I meant to count the comics here. Four, 
and three. So let me put these in the best order I can. Seven. Ah, my hands aren't working. Don't you just love it when your hands decide to do their own thing? So now I know what to, what number to read these in. But guys, these are comics so far and I'm loving these. Like El Rey is number one. I should have opened him first. Now I'm feeling bad that I didn't. But still, last one I got here is Sham. And Sham comes with graphic novel, novel number eight. So I don't have graphic novel, novel number two or four, I think. Let me see one. No, I don't have graphic novel. novel. I can't talk it in. Graphic novel. Graphic novel. Graphic novel. Number five and number seven? Or two. Graphic novel number two. So I imagine those are coming with the series two. And I hope that they I hope that phase two comes out soon. Because I'm really, really super excited about that. I'm gonna be following Pandemony Toys just to see. But Sham comes with he is human, chameleon, and alligator. Homeboy from homeboy's gotta be from the south then if he's alligator. Um And I gotta read their backstories to you. I meant to do that with each one of them, and I'll I'll do that whenever I go through each one of them. They have little games on the back of the boxes too. But it says, Sham belonged to the GK Gamma, a previous GK team. GK Gamma was created to work in espionage and counterintelligence, thus Sham's abilities, which he has 360 degree vision, chameleonic camouflage skin, tough alligator skin, and powerful lashing tongue, which I guarantee you. I like the name of the doctor. The doctor is Kim Mara. I want to get Alpha and Bomber next. Those are the next, those are the phase twos that are coming out. Alpha looks really cool. I, I really like the way he looks. Definitely has that true villain vibe to him. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get the stuff out of out of the bag for Sham here as well. Let's go ahead and get that comic out. I don't know if he's battery operated or not, but there's Sham's comic. Really cool looking. Really, really cool looking comic. I like the way that looks. I really like how detailed these comics are. Like, that's really, really amazing work there. And I can't wait to read these. I really cannot wait to read these. Like, these are really cool comics to me. I, I love toys with I love toys with a backstory. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up the pamphlet here. I'm making sure that there's no hidden stickers. There are not. His camouflage effect. Oh! Oh, wow! His skin actually does change. With your finger, roll the wheel on the back of his head. His tongue will extend out. Okay, that's cool. And he comes with an umbrella blade. I gotta try. I gotta see this. I gotta see all this. I wish I had some hot water with me right now. I don't, cause I and I really don't want to expose him to water. I don't like putting toys in water, but I mean, to each his own, you know. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I don't need to be a chicken wuss about it. And yeah, that's a Final Fantasy VIII reference, I know. Alright. Alright, this is super cool already. He comes with a suitcase. A little... Or a little book. Is that a book? Let me see what it says here for my buddy uh, Sham. Sham comes with a pistol with silencer. Book with hidden explosives and an umbrella with poisoned blade. So right off the rip, we'll look at that pistol right there bring it up so you can kind of see it a little bit. I'll put it on my forehead there because that's like a big billboard now that I don't have much hair. So if you can kind of see it, it's not really, I don't like the fact my camera's not wanting to focus. The explosives. These explosives look really cool by the way. I, I love the way those look. I'm waiting to take that umbrella out. I don't want to take it out just yet. And I don't need my knife anymore, so I can put that away for right now. So, the well, cool thing is you take the explosives and you put them in the backpack here, or you put them in the book. There they are. Really cool. I like that. 
Shams little pistol again like I showed you and now my favorite thing to look at here so it's pretty much the blade is so it's like an umbrella and then whenever you want to attack old kind of like this kind of like how the Soviet spies would do they would take an umbrella and I'm gonna do this real quick just to see if I can at least show it off but as you can see there I'm not trying to flip you off or do anything weird but a little umbrella actually pokes out a little bit so that's really cool I like that this is super cool all right I'm gonna try to see if I can oh that's super cool like his eyes you can kind of like there's a wheel on his back and his eyes kind of move with that and oh his skin does change color I'm trying to see if I can I'm trying to see if I can get him to like change color here real quick Where does, where does instructions go? Here they are. Yeah, he does change color. You can kind of see it here. Like, he darkens up, and then when you put the heat to him, it kind of lightens up a little bit. That's super cool. Like, he kind of camouflages a little bit then. He's got that same rubber tail like El Rey, which I think is really cool as well. Ball joints are really cool. And not to be outdone, his tongue does have a little bit of spit on it, which you can't really see. I like that. That's super cool. Uh, again, guys, these are really cool toys. Um, I got these, like I said, for $20 a piece. $20 to $25. The bigger, the bigger figures were going for like $25. These small like action figure series like standard sized action figures were like 20 bucks 19 bucks some of them were going a little bit cheaper i got them off of amazon but pandemonium really sells like at big bad toy store other places like that are selling them um i definitely recommend this this is a great toy to have like if you're a collector or if you're a kid or if you're someone who really likes these kind of action figures with a background and they come with comic books so it's also got some reading value to it but anyway guys that's it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of today's uh, unboxing or what you'd like to see me out, you know, take out of the box next. Uh, click on that bell icon. That's going to keep you up to date with what we're doing, when we're doing it, and all that jazz. Uh, check the links in the description for all my awesome friends, awesome works. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, thank y'all so much. For, oh, oh, yeah, also go check out our merch shop where you can get some awesome KBG swag. Uh, you can get some shirts, hoodies, cups. If you want to drink your hot tea or coffee or anything like that in a cup, go get it. Uh, book, notebooks, anything. And check out our affiliate No Name Nerd where you can uh, design your own merch shop if you're just a fledgling YouTuber like myself. Or if you're uh, looking to get some esports gear for your own esports team, you can go over to No Name Nerd and check them out. They have some awesome stuff on their site. And use the channel name Cold Bane Games to get 10% off your purchase. So if you spend $100, you're going to bring that down to $90. Before shipping, of course. But, you know, still not a bad, not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Much love, comrades. And das Fananya.